Welcome back to another Piscal tutorial. I'm Rendon with TJ Free, and in this video, we're going to create a basic two frame animation uh, from scratch that we're going to draw in pixel art. And what I want to do is just a beating heart. So if I scroll wheel out or press the minus key on my keyboard, I can scroll out and see the extents of my 32 by 32 drawing space. And we could just use the pen tool right now to try to draw a heart, but just drawing with the mouse freehand like this, it might not look very pretty. We can do Control Z to undo this, and we can use our vertical mirror pen here. So uh, we didn't talk about this in the last video, but this just lets us draw whatever we draw on the left-hand side will also be drawn on the right-hand side. It's just a vertical mirror, and as we get to the center and touch, it just sort of merges in there. So it's a vertical mirror. If we want to change it and do it uh, on the horizontal, we can hover over and see by holding down the Control key, it'll change to, to mirror on the horizontal axis. And if we hold down the shift key, it'll draw on the horizontal and vertical. So we can create in each of these quadrants, it'll just sort of draw a mirror. We can still change the color and draw a different thing as well. But we're going to use this tool to draw a heart. So without pressing down um, anything, it'll just mirror by default on the right and left on the vertical axis. So I'll start here about in the middle and I can look and see what pixel I'm on. So I'm on pixel 15, so 15 and uh, well, 16, yeah, 15 and 16 will be the very center of the, the drawing canvas here. So I'll left click and hold. Oh, and I want to be in black though, because I'm going to do the outline of the heart first. I'll left click and hold, uh, and I'm going to change the thickness as well to be this double. So this is going to be four. I'll left click and hold, and I'll just draw a big kind of heart here. And this is, uh, I, don't, I don't like the way that looks. Let me change this and make it a little bit pointier at the bottom. I don't like that either. Okay, I'm just going to do one pixel instead. I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, that's better. So here's our heart. Um, now I'm going to fill it with a red color by going to the paint bucket tool, and we'll go into this red color, and we'll just click and fill it in. And so now what I want to do is create an animation with this. So I'll create a second frame, and I can either just go create a new frame, and now it's blank, and now it's just like blinking. This is toggling 12 times per second between frame one and frame two. I can slow this down to maybe five or four or three frames per second. Now it's just blinking, so we have a blinking heart. But if I want this heart to appear to be like beating or moving, what I can do, I can come over here and I can copy everything. There's a really easy way to do this, which is duplicate this frame. But I'm going to show you another thing that we can do, which is we can just come to this and we can click over here, clone current uh, layer to all frames. And that's just going to put it on here as well. So there's two ways to do that. Again, if we have this deleted, we can just hover over to duplicate this frame and it does the same thing. So now it's still showing us a, an animation, um, three frames per second, but there's no difference between frame two and frame one, so we can't really see anything. But if I were to erase part of this, we'll start to see what's happening we'll start to see the difference between frame one and frame two in this little animation here. And we can see what that looks like larger. Um, this is just a preview of our sprite animation. So it's just toggling between those two frames. I'll hit control Z because what I really want to do is just make this, uh, I want to make it just go up. That's going to create our beating heart animation. So I'll use the selection tool. I'm going to rectangular, select everything, hold the shift key and just drag this up maybe two pixels and then I'm going to hit the enter key. And now our heart's sort of like bouncing here. So that looks sort of like a beating heart, but it still would be nice um, if it was, if it could increase in size. Um, there, to my knowledge, there is no scale tool. We're just working in pixels, so there is really no scale tool. So what I'm going to do to do this is I'm going to just grab my vertical mirror pen tool again, and I'm going to uh, get into the black color. And on the second frame, I'm just going to draw on the outside. I'm going to trace the outside of this heart. So I'm left clicking and holding to trace the outside as best I can. And now uh, what I'm going to do is grab my red color and I'm just going to trace again on the inside to sort of erase a little bit of these uh, pixels here to make it look like it's, uh, it's also increasing in size. Does that make sense? So we'll do this very carefully here. And there's other methods to do this, but this is just the method I'm gonna try right here. So it's getting larger and it's also moving up and down. So we see that looks eh, kind of like a beating heart. Maybe we need to add a little bit more thickness on the inside of this one now. Oh, go back to the black. 
and that's a nice thing. You can just always get in here and, and adjust this to your, your heart's content, no pun intended. You can just adjust this as much as you want to until you get things looking good. Mm, this is not really looking good. But anyway, we have sort of a beating heart animation. And if this were smaller, we can actually change the preview size. We're in uh, 6x right now. By default, it's usually 1x. So this shows what it'll actually look like on the screen. But we can zoom in and see what this looks like. We can go to full or we can go to 6x, um, which will show the same thing. I want to show you really quick the save options we have too. So there's save and export. If we click save, it just saves it as a PISCL file. We can re-edit this in the future. But if we click on the export, we can export it as either a GIF animation or image or a PNG image, or this zip folder lets us export each frame in a PNG format. So there's different options for that, and we're going to cover these um, in, uh, in later in a tutorial as well. But these are the options we have, um, and we can also scale this as well if we want to scale it to be larger. Because if we export this right now, I'll just show you just, um, just what this image will look like on the desktop. Um, it looks like this. It's very, very small. This is the size. This is the full size of it because it's only 32 pixels by 64 pixels. It put each frame in one image. But we could scale this um, to be larger if we want it to look kind of like this. And then we can uh, export it the same way. And then we can see this will look much, much bigger. This kind of looks more like it does um, how we're editing it right now. So hopefully that's been informative for you. Uh, go ahead and play with that uh, pen tool, the mirror pen tool, and also with adding more frames. We're going to do a, a walk cycle here uh, in, in a little bit, creating a walk cycle of an animated character. So be sure to check out that video. Uh, yeah, and look forward to catching you in the next tutorial.